And now for today's Bible question. Today we have been learning about how the devil tries to trip us up by tempting us to sin. Someone might ask the question, Is the devil the one who causes me to sin? Actually, the devil can tempt us to sin. That means he puts the idea of sin before us and tries to entice us or draw us towards sin. This is what happened to Eve in the Garden of Eden. The devil convinced her to do wrong by persuading her that it was okay for her to disobey God's word. However, though the devil may tempt us to do wrong, it is still our choice whether we shall listen to Satan or to the word of God. The devil does not cause me to sin. He only tempts me to sin. Each sin I commit is my own choice, and therefore I am guilty because of my own choice to disobey God. Someone might say, Well, the temptation is just too strong for me, and I cannot help but sin. This is why we need to repent and place our trust in Jesus to save us from sin. Jesus not only died to pay the price for our sins, but also to give us power to overcome sin, so that sin will no longer rule over us. He gives us the power through the Word of God and through the indwelling Holy Spirit. As we abide in God's Word daily, we are washed clean and our minds are led in the paths of righteousness. The Holy Spirit teaches us and guiding us on this good path. If a Christian sins, he may still find forgiveness when he confesses his sins before God. We must remember that if a pig rolls in the mud, he will become dirty because of his environment, but also because of his nature. The pig likes rolling in the mud. The Christian has a new nature that no longer finds pleasure in sin, and who prefers an environment where he does not have to encounter or be tempted to sin. We might say he no longer enjoys rolling in the mud, but prefers to be clean and walk in holiness. If sin still has power over you, then I encourage you to seek the Lord for forgiveness and his cleansing power to free you from the penalty and the power of sin. Even if we cannot overcome sin, we know Jesus can, and so you just need to turn to him in faith and ask him to cleanse you and give you a new nature that hates sin and loves righteousness. May the Lord help us all to follow his perfect example of resisting the devil and fleeing from sin.